The Hassan II Mosque is a new construction designed by Michel Pinceau and completed in 1993. The exterior of the mosque includes granite, bronze and titanium finishes. The mosque is so massive and detailed that it required 35,000 craftsmen and 50 million man-hours labor for its completion. The remains of Muhammad V, the father of Moroccan independence, are contained in this giant mausoleum crafted in white Italian marble. Every day, the ceremony of the hoisting and lowering of the royal colors is performed. This is the tanneries here where they're dyeing the different uh, skins. Apparently they say that it's very hard work, this uh, long hours and hard work. We stopped at the ruins of the ancient Roman city of Volubilis. Amazingly, mosaics hundreds of years old were out in the open completely unprotected for the outside elements to wear away at. There was a stark contrast of dry desert-like mountainous terrain against lush green valleys. This contrast of desolation and vibrant foliage was present all through the Atlas mountain range. Moroccan craftsmen are like the Michelangelos of Islamic art. Amazingly, Islamic art patterns are hand cut piece by piece and assembled into large works. Eight Benadou is an ancient fortified city which lies on the caravan route between the Sahara Desert and Marrakesh. Numerous movie classics have been shot at Eight Benadou, such as Sodom and Gomorrah, The Man Who Would Be King, Jesus of Nazareth, Time Bandits, and Marco Polo. Yeah, we are lucky to have that now and to see how it is. That's incredible. Yeah. The storm seemed to be getting gradually more intense as time passed. Arriving at our hotel, we were intrigued by its unique design. The bar area looked nothing like what we were used to seeing and had cushions where you lounged or lied down as you drank. It was as if we got a glimpse of infinity as we looked out over an endless landscape.